Hello, Taurus viewers. So the last reading I did, I was picking up that you might be getting an unexpected message from a potential life partner. Uh, this could be coming in during the retrograde here too. We have we're in Mercury retrograde until the twenty second. Um, side note: If you're a male and your name starts with J, I think John and you're going through a psychic awakening, I do have a message from your spirit guides for you. I'm not going to charge you for the message. It's just, you know, this message came through. This is for a man that's going through a psychic awakening, and he doesn't have a lot of friends that he can vent to about this stuff. Like, most of his friends kind of don't understand this sort of thing. So he's kind of going through um, this, tra this major transition alone, you know, uh, receiving these psychic downloads and... and you know, not knowing what this energy is. So uh, your spirit guides did come through. So if this is you, just send me an email and I will channel that message for you for free. I don't usually do free readings, but, you know, when spirit guides come through like that, then, you know, on those occasions, I do go ahead and do free readings. So, yeah, if that's you, go ahead and message me. Anyway, let's get into the reading. So this could be an ex, this could be a new person, it's just whatever the cards want to say. I'm trapped and unhappy, or I'm trapped in a stagnant, unhappy situation. I'm drained and distracted. Gossip and rumors played a role in our separation. I look at your pictures often. There's no one like you. I realize now I won't be able to find a love like ours with someone else. I'm jealous. I'm afraid that you already are or that you will end up dating someone else. I'm afraid of getting hurt, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith for you. Sorry, let me straighten this out for you guys a little bit here. There we go. I love you. I've grown up and I'm ready for commitment. So even though I channeled someone new for you guys in the last reading, I do feel like this is an old person coming through, which makes sense. I mean, it is Mercury retrograde and that does typically happen. Sometimes you have karmic partners that you need to wrap things up with that come back around during Mercury retrograde um, to bring in this new person. So does feel like someone, it could be a third party situation here because I do get someone that's, you know, kind of feeling numb. They kind of feel like they're trapped. They're kind of drained. Maybe they have a lot on their plate, a lot of stress. I feel like there was some drama with this person, like gossip or rumors or third party, family or friends that didn't like you. Some, something of that sort that played a role in your separation. And they're looking at your pictures often now and they're realizing that there's no one like you. They're not going to be able to find a love like you know, like what you guys could have had or what you did have with someone else. And they're jealous because they feel, I think they feel that you are about to meet someone new or that you have met someone new, or maybe they've even been stalking your social media and they see that you're going out and you're living your best life and you're not waiting around for them anymore. Um, it's like this person is still afraid of getting hurt. Like if they sabotaged it and they took the easy way out in the past, and didn't listen to their intuition, didn't listen to their heart when their door, when that door was open. Um, they're regretting it now, and they're wanting to come back around, and they want to tell you, you know, they, they love you. They've grown up. They're ready for commitment. I honestly feel like most of you guys are not going to want this, though, because I feel like it took them too long. I just feel like it took them too long to finally come to these conclusions. I get this sense of someone who almost moved at, like, a turtle's pace, like someone that was just never sure about you, never sure of themselves, never sure of what they wanted in life. Um, they kind of put you last, like they put their work first or they put like, if it was like a karmic partner, but they put the karmic partner third party first or they listen to the rumors or the gossip, they listen to their family or friends over you. Like they just kind of put you last and I feel like they just, they move so slowly and I think at first you try to be patient with them, but I think that you lost patience. I'm getting that this energy is someone that just like 
it's like they had so many chances with you. They had so many chances with you and they kept messing it up and they kept moving so slowly and they kept ghosting or sabotaging this. And now that you're moving on and they can feel that you've either just started dating someone else or that you're manifesting, like maybe it's just like the energy, like they feel that you're, you're not waiting for them anymore. They're like, wait, 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 I'm, I'm looking at your pictures, like come back. I, I know now there's no one like you. I'm sorry I took you for granted. I, I'm still afraid of getting hurt, but I'm going to take the leap of faith. I really am. Just come back. You know, I've, I've grown up really. I have, but it's like, I feel like most of you are just kind of like, eh, like I'm done. I'm over it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like most of you just don't want this anymore. You're my best friend. You have multiple potential life partners. Your energy is magnetic. Yeah, family or friends might have played a role in your separation with this other person. I feel like you learned a karmic lesson from that, that you're um, moving past now. And if this is your story and you'd like a paid private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box. Um, so you can just copy and paste it. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. But yeah, check the description box below for the spelling. I feel like someone either just come in or someone's coming in. They're going to be like your best friend. They're going to be like, like everything to you. You know what I mean? Like your best friend, your, your true love. Like you have someone else coming in. I feel like maybe you just have, I feel like you learned the karmic lesson from this other person, but maybe you need to wrap things up with them because they're still in your energy field. Like they're trying to, like you've let go of it for the most part, or maybe there's like some, um, I get the sense that you guys didn't have a lot of closure. Like maybe they didn't even tell you about the, that their family was talking crap about you or their friends were talking crap about you or like this, this karmic, maybe, um, this person's kind of submissive. So they kind of gave into the rumors and I feel like you guys didn't have a lot of closure. So I feel like you kind of need that closure, even though you've mostly moved on from it. I feel like there's still this, um, it's almost like a seed was planted when you were with this person because you're like, what did I do wrong? Like, why did they, what, like, there's so many unanswered questions. And I feel like you just kind of embraced that you were never going to find the answers and you were confused, but I feel like it still subconsciously affected you. I hope that makes sense. It's like you moved on from it to a degree. Like you're not like missing this person all the time anymore. But when you think about it, you're still like, what the hell? Like, why did they ghost me? Like, everything was good. Like, why didn't they stand up for me? Why didn't they fight for me? Why didn't they talk to me more? Why didn't they try to work things out with me? Why did they, you know, leave the first argument we have had? You know, those kind of questions. Like, why did they always put me last? Why did they always put their job and everyone else first? Like, if it's like a karmic situation, you're like, why her and not me? Like, why, why did, why did, you know, why did they choose her or him either way, male or female? You, you know, it's like all these unanswered questions, like, you know, like almost like, like what was wrong with me? Like, why? Like, I feel like they just really did not give you closure. Like they really didn't give you answers. Like they left you unread kind of energy. Like they didn't, like they just left and they didn't tell you why they didn't give you, it's like that kind of energy where there's just something, it's like an empty kind of feeling that I'm, that I'm channeling here. Like they just kind of didn't give you the clarity and the closure that you need. And, and like I said, I think for a while you were confused, but eventually you moved on and you're like, you know what? I don't know why this person's moving so slow. I don't know why this person's so unsure of me. I don't know why this person's always putting me last, but I'm tired of doing this to myself. They seemed like there was a lot of potential there, but I don't want to keep hurting myself. So you eventually moved on, but there's still this, like I said, it's like this subconscious kind of energy where it's like they, it still affected you on a deeper level than you even realized that they, that you didn't get, the, get those answers. So they might just be coming back around because the divine wants you to wrap this up and have those answers. The divine wants your, your spirit guides want you to know it was not you. It was this person's, there's nothing wrong with you. It was this person's confusion. It was this person's own insecurities, their own fears, their own, um, they're very impressionable. Like, so I think they gave in to the karmic or to the third party or whatever it was like they, they couldn't figure their life out. And instead of trying to figure it out, they just kind of pushed everyone away. Um, and kind of blamed other people for their own problems. So the divine just wants you to understand that, that it was not you. It was nothing you did wrong. It was just them. It was their own drama. So this might be coming back around just to kind of give you that closure that you didn't get to have before. 
Um, I do feel like you have someone new coming in though. And like I said, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below. Um, you do have someone coming in that's going to be like your best friend. So there's going to be the communication. You did not have that open communication with this person. I feel like you might have also had different love languages with this person. Like say you like cuddling, but they like to buy you things when they're romantic or vice versa. It's like that kind of energy, like where there's just something off with the communication there. With this new person that you've either just met or you're going to meet, I feel like that you guys are going to be best friends. So it's like the communication is going to be open. And this might start as a friendship. This could already be a friendship that's in your life. And maybe right now you're just not seeing it as something romantic. And one day, you're, you know, when you're ready for it and when they're ready for it, something's just going to click and you're going to look at them differently. This could be like a best friend or something that you like. You think they're kind of cute, but, you know, you guys are friends, so you're not really thinking much of it. Um, this could also be a brand new person that you haven't even met yet that's, you know, your channeling that's going to come into your life. Um, but I'm just getting that energy that, like, there's going to be a strong friendship. There's going to be a strong base with this person. Like, you guys are going to be able to joke around together. You're going to be honest with it, with each other. You're maybe in the past you kind of had, had to hide things from people because they're insecure. Or they're, you know what I mean? Like, there's just not a lot of trust there. So you had to kind of hide certain things with this person. You're not going to be able to hide things. Like, even if you wanted to, you will feel guilty if you hide a single secret from them. Like, you guys are going to have that kind of open connection where you just feel like you have to tell each other everything. Like, even little things. Like, you guys are going to be so loyal to each other. They're going to match your loyalty. Um, you're going to just be open, honest with each other. Like you're going to feel like, like I said, like, like an urge, like you have to be honest with them. Um, like it's just going to be like natural for you. You know what I mean? Like you're just going to feel that drive. Like you just want to tell them everything. Um, and I feel like a goofy kind of, you know, fun relationship too, where you guys can also like joke around, but it's like also very sensitive and gentle at the same time. It's like the best of both worlds. I feel like you guys are going to be teasing each other, but like in like a playful, fun way. Like I feel like in the past, like maybe people did that the wrong way with you or you did it the wrong way with them. And like they didn't like they were just kind of like stuck up or they just didn't they didn't understand that energy. And this person's going to understand your energy in ways that your exes just did not understand it. And it's going to be open and honest and vulnerable. So don't sabotage us when this comes in. This person also might not be your usual type. So do keep that in mind. Um, that, you know, if you have a certain type that you keep going for and it's just not working out, then the divine is trying to bring someone else to you. But they maybe need to um, have that friendship first so that you can be attracted to someone that you normally would not be attracted to, if that makes sense. So even if you haven't met this person, you might meet them soon. And but you guys might just you might be like, oh, they're kind of cute, but like not my usual type. But just hang out and just be friends. And you might, you know, connect with them so much that you decide that you want it to be something more. So I hope this makes sense. And I think most of you know that you're manifesting this too. So so you are manifesting this. Like this is coming in. Just keep up the manifestations. Um, don't get thrown off if this, if this ex does come back around. And they might not. It might just be like your spirit guides might have just given you closure through this video. They might have been like, hey, like maybe that's all you needed. Maybe you just needed to hear me say, hey, that wasn't you. It was literally just them, their own insecurities, their own fears. Um, there was a cut and clear ritual that I did maybe like a month or two ago. If you want to go back on my channel and look for that, you can do that too. That helps to cut the cords if you're done with someone, um, after you guys break up. But, um, but yeah, some of you will get a message from them though, but it's just like, don't get thrown off by that energy. It's just, you know, karmic lessons and stuff, um, coming to a wrap up so you can transition to this, you know, this new life partner, this new potential life partner. Um, you have multiple potential partners too. So you have more than one person coming in here is what I'm feeling. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope that resonates. Uh, please subscribe if it does. Um, and yeah, my email is below if you want a private reading. Thank you guys for watching. And any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My donation links are below too. Thanks.